Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to show you how to do a kitchen layout. As you can see on the screen there, I've already got one set up. This is what I'm going to recreate from scratch. So this is basically the measurements for my kitchen, a three meter by three meter kitchen, and where the main elements in the kitchen are. So there's a sink under, under there, a cooker there, and then where the sockets and doors are. And I've used just basic shapes for these um, tabletops. These are actually cupboards underneath there. So this is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do it from scratch. So let's have a look at File, New. And what we're looking for in categories is Maps and Floor Plans. And then we're looking for a Home Plan which is this one. You can see all the different ones there, look. So I'll click on this one and create. So I'm creating it from scratch. So the stencils that you get are, as you can see here, starting at the top, quite a lot of quick shapes, annotations, appliances. So you've got a few appliances there. Bath and kitchen, so went a bit fast there bath and kitchen plan so we've got the bath and kitchen stuff in there jacuzzi electrical and telecoms you've got furniture and then garden I'm not doing garden and walls and shell structure which is the bottom one which is what I'm going to start off with so I'm going to drag the shape the wall shape on it's defaulting to 3 by 2.5 so I want that to be 3 by 3 and obviously I can't see that so I'll just make that a little bit bigger or quite a lot bigger actually so you can see it now I want to use the basic shapes so I'm going to go for the, the basic shape stencil so in general basic shapes just just because I want to use the rectangles to do my cupboards um, so this rectangle now I've measured this so uh, this needs to be 533 and then that goes all the way along that back wall and then the sink fits in that and I need to put the doors in here so let's go for a door so there's a door there and that needs to flip the other way so if we go to position yeah that's the way it opens and that needs to move in slightly um, that measurement there is about 500 and these doors are not 900 so I'm going to change this to 700 and there's another door on the other side that sits there and again this this opens the other way so it comes that way and again this is 700 so I've changed that to 700 so this is the size and position um, uh, window that I've got there and you get it from task panes, task pane is not a window, size and position so it's on the view tab so you can see what the size of things are. So the measurement between the edge of this which I'm now going to colour in actually so it's going to have a, a brown colour and the door, that edge, that measurement there is something that I need to measure so I need a measuring tool uh, so I'm going to type measure and search for it to see what it's going to come up with so you've got these measuring tools which basically you can sit and it gives you the measurements of a particular gap so what I need to do in this one is just get it set up so it's in line with that so I can measure that bit and obviously I don't want it all the way down there so 0.325 of a meter so that is probably a third of a meter in real life so I just need to move that up a little bit it's 0.25 of a meter that's not so right I'll just leave that like that yeah that's the gap there that's good 
that's what the measuring tool's for. Once you've done that, you can maybe get another one where you can copy that. I'll just knock that off. I need some more cabinets, so I want some basic shapes and need some rectangles. So again, I want five, three, three. And then that one can go. That needs to spin round actually. I'm going to this space. And this space goes flush to the wall. As flush as I can get it at the door. Let's see if the door is going to bang into that. Um, so this needs to come down on that a little bit so I'll go to 1470 see if that fits 1460 then oops not, not the title I want the uh, 1460 that fourteen hundred move it down a bit okay that's about right so I need to measure this area again so I'm going to copy that measuring tool and then just get a paste on it so I've got this so I need to just stick that on there and then push that up to the top so I can actually measure that gap, come down a little bit, a bit more, 1.4, that's good. You don't have to put these measuring tools on if you don't want, but I am, so just fill that in. So I have another cabinet there, so I need another rectangle at 5, 3, 3, and... This just fits in this space. Now the width of that has to fit into this doorway. So that door, let's move that up a little bit. So we've got 533. Three. Okay. And that's a meter out, it's not a meter, it's about 500. Just move the door down a little bit. Okay, and again I need to put another measuring tool there to measure that. I'm not going to do it for this little example but that's what you have to do you take the measurements put the measuring tool on make sure you've got the same measurement in these spaces these cabinets are all bespoke cabinets so they're not at standard sizes now I want a radiator radiator goes there so I need to search for a radiator search for a radiator it's pretty spectacular not the radiator is um, 900 That'll do, 900. And now I want to close that search box. I need to come back to kitchen. Well, I've got electrical there, but I could go, I want kitchen. And kitchen plant. So I want cooker. We'll have a sink. There's a sink first. That goes there. That sink is the right height. Um, and I think the sink itself is 850. That's it, and then I want a, I don't want a shower, I want a cooker, oven, you can't see an oven there, even though it's, let's go for oven. Go for cooker one, that sort of goes in that space there. There's a bit of a gap. So 
so I have a little bit of cabinet space in there so I need another rectangle so it's 533 three. and the gap is very narrow to be honest so See if that fits. Yeah, let's just make it the same width as this. Colour that in. Okay, that's a nice little line. And then click on that and duplicate. Control D, duplicate. And this one sits here. And it's a bit wider than that. It comes right to the edge of the door. I'm going to say 400. Three seventy. Get it right in a minute. Okay, that's looking all right. So now I've got electrical points. So up here, one of the stencils is electrical. So you've got a switch, a light switch that sits there, and then you've got sockets which go there and bring that in a little bit and there is a socket that sits there as well spin that round just above the cooker like so so we've got the door, we've got a window so back to the main shapes need a window sitting right in front of the sink and that is 120 that's it should snap into the wall like so now once you've done all this there is a if I go for measurements again There's a room measurement tool, which is what I had on there. You can just position that and then just go three meter by three meter. Gives you the measurement of your little kitchen diagram. So just to recap, some of these I've done a bit rough and ready, but I'm showing you how to put the measurement tool on. So what you would do is you'd measure that, physically measure that gap measure your doors, measure your cabinets, measure this gap and all these gaps, you just measure it and you don't need to put the tool on but so you know uh, when you do your drawing what the scale is and what the size is of all these things. Um, but basically that's how you can create a little kitchen plan and that's all I want to show you in this little video. Hopefully it was of use and you got the idea how you to use your stencils, how you can add extra stencils, how you can search for shapes, how you can put your measurements on and how you can position them. So, see you in the next one. Thank you for your time.